Okay. Um, ben, ben Drill says, thoughts on titanium frames. I don't have an issue with titanium frames, okay? But some of you guys are really dumb for wasting all your money on titanium frames. And the reason I say that is because they're good and that weight saving is incredible. But if you're, there's a certain level of riding that you need to be at before that weight savings matters. Um, if you're just learning how to 180, saving a pound on your bike isn't gonna matter that much. Now, if you're learning how to triple tail whip, you need as much weight savings as possible. But if you're just a beginner doing beginner stuff, that weight savings does not matter. I promise you, it's nice. The idea is nice. I used to have a completely plastic seat. I drill holes in my stuff. Like I, I was the ultimate weight weenie and it doesn't actually matter that much until you get to a certain level of riding. And so like guys like Mike Varga, Logan Martin, Todd Mine, all these guys that are riding tie frames, actually I don't know if Logan's is tie, um, Todd, Todd's is tie. Anyway, these guys that are riding tie frames, they're getting a lot more benefit out of it because of the level of riding that they're riding at. And they also have the budget to do it. Like if, if, if you were to look at, should I buy a titanium frame or wheels with tie spokes, tie driver, that kind of thing, I'd go with the wheels every day go with the wheels like there's better things that you can spend your money on than a tie frame and the the benefit from it for a beginner rider and for even mid-level riders like for me I wouldn't get that much benefit out of it like I'm still not at that level of riding it would be cool it would help me out but for two grand that the benefit's not there you know I just don't think it's there and so um so yeah the idea is cool that's cool I like them I think it's awesome if you have if you're in a uh oil tycoon mogul or whatever you like you got money coming out your ear sure build a fully tied bike but if you're like an average person that's like oh i could spend two thousand on a frame and and uh, it, it'd feel good yeah it'd feel good but it's like it's not worth it i promise it's not worth it so good question though jen nav poe says titanium all the way average bmx are 26 pounds and tie bikes are like 18 who doesn't want to bunny hop four feet it's a good point you know a lighter bike i'm not going to say a lighter bike doesn't help because it absolutely helps it's a lot easier to control and maneuver but i'll also say that uh it's like i think a lot of people look at it i used to do the same thing as like like a night and day difference. Like you flip a switch with tie and then boom, you're killing it. And uh, it just doesn't work that way because you've still got to learn bike control. You've still got to progress. You've got to do all these different things. What are you doing? What are you doing? So maybe she'll sit like this. She likes to sit like a baby, but see, it's, it's not a dog guys. I don't know what kind of, what kind of kangaroo is this? Um, but but it, a lot of people think of it as flipping a switch and it's. I don't think it's that easy. I think it helps but it's not gonna change your riding like overnight. So 